Welcome to another video brought to you by Elite Educational and Professional Academy. As always, we provide you with educational material that makes a difference in your professional and personal development. In today's video, we're going to be addressing a very important design parameter specifically for the HVAC duct design process. If you are an HVAC professional and you're designing a ducting system for your application, then you should be keeping track of what you're going to be learning in this current video. As you know, most probably, the HVAC process, the design process, has multiple steps, has multiple sequence of operations that takes you from one stage to the other in order to ensure that your design actually is feasible, could be implemented, efficient, and delivers the desired design outcome. In today's video, we'll be discussing the aspect ratio, which is an important design parameter for a successful manual duct design process. If you are sizing a duct or designing a ducting system for HVAC application, you should keep in track of the aspect ratio for your ducting system because it will either make or break that duct design process. Whether we're talking about cost, whether we're talking about losses or energy savings, aspect ratio is a very hidden, often neglected design parameter that will spare you time, effort, mistakes, and most importantly, will reduce the cost of getting your system. So what is the aspect ratio for a duct? How to calculate the aspect ratio, along with how to compare two different ducts with different aspect ratios in terms of their efficiency and their performance reliability. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hello guys and welcome back. In this segment of the course, we're going to address a parameter of a rectangular duct, which is really important in terms of the application of such a duct, which is the aspect ratio. In the following parts, we're going to define the aspect ratio, what is the aspect ratio, and how it affects our duct sizing process. The aspect ratio is a term related to rectangular ducts, where it is the ratio of the long side of the duct to the ratio of the short side of the duct, which means you're going to take the long side, as you can see in the picture, and divide it by the short slide. Therefore, it's called the aspect ratio, dominated by the letters AR, which stand for in the industry as aspect ratio. It is a very important factor that should be accounted for in the duct design process. Why? Because an aspect ratio could vary as you vary the long side and the short side. So if you go to a specific point, the aspect ratio could either make or break your ducting system and I will show you in the following slide why. Now the aspect ratio is the ratio of the long side of the duct to the short side of the duct. Let me tell you why it's a very important parameter that should be taken account during the duct design process in general and especially on the duct sizing process. As we can, if you can see from the formula, you have the long side at the top and the short side at, at the bottom. From a mathematical point of view, the larger the long side and the smaller the short side, you have a higher aspect ratio. High aspect ratios, they mean your air flowing through the ducting system will be in contact heavily with the walls of the duct. Think about it this way. If you have, for example, a rectangular duct and you're stretching it out, what's going to happen to the duct? The width is going to shrink and the length is going to increase, right? However, if we reverse the process, what are you going to have? Both sides almost the same. So the best way to go about this is to have your aspect ratio as close to one as possible. Again, what does that mean? Consider a square. If you have a square duct, it means the length is the same as the width. Now, from an application point of view, the best duct in terms of the best rectangular duct in terms of frictional losses is the square duct. Because once the long side and the short side, they are of the same length, so they are the same side length, basically, they form a square duct. The square duct simply surrounds the air and minimizes the contact of the air flowing inside the duct with the walls of the duct. 
therefore reducing the frictional losses, reducing the pressure losses and makes it easier on the fan that's going to push that air through the duct. So the higher the aspect ratio, the more losses that you're going to have within your system. So I've put for you a couple guidelines from best practices in order, in order for you to be able to understand the importance of the aspect ratio. And in the following demonstration, I'll walk you through the calculations of the aspect ratio in order for you to be able to calculate the aspect ratio for any duct. And you can just toy with the calculations in order for you to see that an aspect ratio of equal to one gives you the best frictional losses avoidance compared to aspect ratio greater than one. So guys, in this demonstration, I'll be showing you how to go about calculating the aspect ratio. As we've defined the aspect ratio as the long side over the short side, take a look at the example of the duct, a schematic of the duct that we have, such that L is about 300 mm and W is 150 mm, where L is the long side and W is the short side. If I'm going to calculate the aspect ratio in this case, the aspect ratio is going to be the long side L over W, where L is 300 mm, W is 150 mm, AR equals to 300 divided by 150 is two. And it's just a number. We don't have any units because aspect ratio is a ratio where we have the ratio of two sides compared to each other. Therefore, we don't have a unit. In this case, the aspect ratio is two for this particular duct. So this is a representation for the steps that we need to do in order to calculate the aspect ratio for any given duct. So this is an example for you where you can apply what you have learned in terms of the aspect ratios calculation to compare between two ducts. What I would like you to do is, is take a sheet of paper if you'd like and just simply try to sketch those ducts and calculate the aspect ratios for both and determine which one is better. Then compare it to the example and you'll be able to figure out the reasoning why aspect ratio is an important aspect of the design or the duct sizing process. So at this point, we have realized the importance of the aspect ratio in terms of the duct design process, such that if we do not keep into account a proper aspect ratio for our design, we might end up having either an overly sized ducting system or an underly sized ducting system, which will be reflected as well in our piece of equipment that we choose later on, not to mention the cost and the unnecessary frictional losses that will come along if you do not pay attention to the proper sizing of your ducts taking into account the aspect ratio of your ducts. So in the previous example, I have left for you a problem. Make sure that you solve that problem. Leave your answers in the comments below to compare with the channel members and to make sure that you actually are able to apply what you have learned so far. And if you're interested in taking your duct design process, your duct design game to a whole new level where you'll learn about the best practices in the industry, along with step-by-step -step application that will take you from A to Z, a complete transformation that will help you tackle on real life projects. I left for you a coupon in our course description below. That's basically for the masterclass that we have on our academy addressing the duct design process, manual duct design process. So if that's of interest to you, which you should as a professional in the field, you need to develop your knowledge. You need to take your skill set to a whole new level. And by doing so, you'll ensure that you stand out in the industry. Keeping in mind that once you're done with the masterclass, you'll be receiving a course completion certificate that will help you showcase your achievement. So make sure that you take a look at it. At this current point in time, make sure that you hit and smash that subscribe button and like buttons to stay tuned for our latest videos covering various industries and highly specialized educational material. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.